Hi Libra, this is Mary Shima Chan Sulanka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. For the month of December 2022, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? Libra's out there. Someone of rise and ease. Libra's out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Libra's out there. Your first card is the Ace of Wands. Alright? It seems like there is some kind of an awakening. For some of you out there, like this, I see your um, third, third eye getting lit up, all right? Uh, yes, along with the temperance, exactly. Um, so there is something about a sense of knowing. Hmm? Yeah, uh, because temperance is all about having that clarity, okay? Aligning uh, your thoughts with whatever is happening around you, that kind of energy. Uh, some of you might be getting some kind of an opportunity, but in your case, I am getting the awakening energy for some reason, all right? And uh, it is um, uh, confirmed with the temperance energy. Along with the temperance, there is another card which is peeping out, which is the card of the world. All right. When I spoke about you know being aligned with things around you, there is a definite awakening happening in your life. I don't know if it is regards to a situation, or some of you might be um, your third eye is getting activated. All right, which is a good thing. Yes, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. All right, uh, there could be some kind of an opportunity as well coming your way. It could be some kind of a blessing as well. All right, I'm speaking to the Librans. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost like uh, you are crossing a threshold. All right, if you look at this uh, lady, um, the ring she's stepping on is actually a snake. All right, the snake which is biting its own tail. Uh, so uh, there is uh, this energy about coming a full circle. You are crossing a threshold. Okay, definite awakening for you. I, I cannot change it, even if I want to. But with this, with this energy of the judgment, again, there is a sense of liberation. All right, it's it's almost like a releasing uh, whatever has been. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's like if you had so much restrictions within you or you felt very trapped in your life, all right? It could be your thought process or the way of living, all that. There's some, something about freeing yourself or, you know, I don't want to say unleash. It's, it's almost like breaking the chains, if that makes sense. It, it could be the fears, um, not fears, um, if you had fears in your life, um, something, something is changing. Yes, there is this energy, yeah. Too many cards. With this four of wands, sorry, with this four of wands, why am I going all over the place? With this four of wands, it, it's almost like you're celebrating. There is a sense of celebration as well around you. You are taking charge of your life. Liberation, taking charge of your life. There is something changing, changing within, within you. Okay? You are transitioning as a person. I'm just going to break the deck here because I'm a little amused with your reading right now. Yes, <laughs> this confirms. I told you, you are walking away from something. You know, your past, you're releasing yourself from the fears or whatever has been restricting you. You're walking away from all, to, uh, all that, all right? Whatever the chains was, which is keeping you trapped. You're walking away from it. Ten of swords. You're turning your back away from all that. The past, how you lived or whatever your life was previously, you're just leaving it behind. Okay, okay. A beautiful transformation by itself. 
all right with this ace of wands and the ace of pentacles it's almost like you're being lit okay you're coming through as a new transformed person for some reason all right um yes along with the ten of cups as well liberation and happiness okay you you going to feel freed from something okay because some kind of an awakening is coming in, uh, coming into your life or the sense of knowing what you want all right uh, the judgment along with the ten of cups this is what I was trying to explain all right it is words you feeling trapped now you're breaking away because if, when you're looking at yourself in the mirror you don't like what you're seeing all right there's so much uh, with the crows around you, the noises, you know, it, it's it's like in the past, there were so many people around you who is like the black, bad influence. It's, it's just calling in your, uh, in your ears and you were, um, you know, you were stuck. You were stuck, I always want to say past life. Although it might be just yesterday, you were living that life. And now, today, you, you are a completely changed person because you're getting awakened. Hmm? Because here, there is a blindfold. All right? And now, your eyes is being lit. Okay? You, your third eye is getting activated. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy, a Gemini energy, a Sagittarius energy. And that's about it. Probably a Leo energy as well. Librans, I like it. All right. Can we have your next card, please? Yes, with this moon card, there is there is uh, this life of living under some kind of an illusion. Okay, with this moon card, you were not seeing things for what it is. You were under the water. You were seeing a, a reflection. Okay. I always want to say you were living a false life. Now you're seeing through the bullshit. You're seeing things for what it is. Okay. Oh, wow. It's almost like you were living in the dark underwater okay you, you were just um, blocking the noise because underwater is some you know submerged underwater you can't hear much yeah everything looks grand in your eyes but for some reason now you know you see things for what it is and I also want to say because I'm hearing the word meaningless you understand how meaningless it was yeah I hear the word unfortunate I don't know if I'm mocking you or that's what is being conveyed that's unfortunate all right it's, it's almost like you wasted your life It, it suddenly took a harsh turn that I feel bad, okay? It feels like I'm bullying you, but not really, not really. I am very happy with, with this energy, with this, um, you know, it's almost like you're turning a new leaf, okay? Somehow, uh, your perception about life is changing you know, like a full 180, you know, you see things clearly you yeah? know there is this clarity there is this breakthrough in in the way you see things yes two of pentacles it's it's like um you know there's something about weighing things okay when i spoke about the illusions now you're weighing it out how worthless was something and what it could have been. All right. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces.
Pisces energy or probably a Capricorn energy. There's something else which, which, which is your energy as well. All right? Just what I was trying to explain uh, with this moon card, you, you see, you know, you were living in the dark, uh, in the shadow. You know, there is a shadow side to your life. You felt things right, okay? When you were living in that life of yours, you felt everything is right. But there was a dark side. The shadow side. In, in your eyes, it was all okay. But something about about you, it seems like you were living underwater. Okay? You built up a world which was pretty much made of glass. It's, it's an illusion. Alright? That could have been until yesterday or until last week or you might be getting into this phase. I don't know when this is going to happen, but it seems like it's happening right now. Okay, and they're giving me a backstory about how it was once upon a time. Okay, for you, it's, it's all about um, when I'm looking at the three of wands, along with the justice, you wanted things to go your way. And you felt that this is the right, um, the right way to live life. Because you didn't know any other way. Yeah, I feel like I'm bullying you right now. I'm sorry. But uh, let's move on. Some of you might be dealing with another Libra energy or probably an Aries energy. There is something, something about you living a lie. You know, you built up a castle with glass or ice. It's, it's just falling apart. Okay, moving on, Librans. Uh, all right. Libyans out there. Can we have the next card, please? Your next card is the five pentacles in the center of the reading. Just what I was trying to say. There is this energy about, you know, being lonely. Even when you, you know, live that life, you weren't really happy. Huh? It's, it's like you didn't know other, uh, uh, other way. It's like the door is closed. You know, you, you felt so lonely, you felt so, you know, outcasted. That is a kind of breakthrough. Okay, that is the kind of, uh, you know, you understanding the reality of your life right now. How meaningless. You know, there could have been friends around you, but do you understand the reality right now? I kind of feel bad for you. Hmm? But there is something about... Give me a second. You were juggling with, juggling with options. Okay, when I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, which is peeping from behind, uh, there is something about you giving, okay? Uh, trying to uh, let people in. There, there is this energy about fake friends. You brought people in, but never they never stayed. All right. The reason why I'm speaking about is six of pentacles. There is an imbalance of energy. People are just taking from you. You are the giver. People just receive, and that's about it. There is an imbalance. People do not reciprocate enough. Maybe they just want to take away from you, and that's about it. Because you tried finding, if this is a love situation, you tried finding love, you know, some of you might be paying for love or giving gifts for love because this person is, 
you know, um, he has a bouquet of uh, flowers in his hand, roses in his hand. There is letters, you know, there is a envelope on the table. Again, there is a little uh, red heart on it. So if it's, it, it's like you give, you keep giving, they receive, and that's about it. Uh, it, it's almost like um, harsh reality okay you're being enlightened by the harsh reality of your life how much you were underwater you're realizing it like now all right how how much it was meaningless how much it was worthless hmm? Because there is this realization that after doing all this, you're still alone. After giving so much, you're still alone. Very depressing reading. But I feel like this is a past, all right? With this, with this card, with this awakening, when I showed you the, um, the world card uh, and whatever the other cards were, that was beautiful. So you're stepping out of this past life of yours. I guess something is going to change. I guess some kind of an awakening for sure. Okay. Because Ace of Pentacles as well. Okay. Either you're going to be blessed with something beautiful. All right. Um, previously, you were the giver. Now, you're going to receive. Someone might enter your life who is completely different. Who is the giver? All right? There, there is something which is shifting. And you will know. That, that's the best part. You will know who that person is. Give me a second. There's another card, which is the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. You are walking away from whatever was meaningless. Because you can see, you can, uh, you can see this person is underwater all this while, okay? Seeing the reflection, seeing what, you know, you felt like everything is in your reach, but it's, it's almost like a mirage. It's just a reflection. You can see the moon, it's a reflection on the water. You feel like the moon is your, uh, you know, you can reach out for the moon, but not really. It's just the bloody reflection, all right? Now, you are coming out of the water, leaving whatever was fake behind you're walking away from the water so it's 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 like that's why i want to say i keep curing past life all right so it, it's almost like your life a life previously like the same life you're living today uh it's it, it's like you're turning a new complete new chapter you're leaving the previous year before or the previous uh, 11 months behind okay I like it <laughs> all right it, it's almost like um this is weird all right um because I it, it's like they give me the image of uh, Ganga all right I'll explain to you why why they, yeah six of swords good lord good lord all right, Six of Swords, this is again moving forward, okay? This for me is, again, you know, she is on a boat, on the water, okay? She's moving forward. She's being dragged actually by the crows, okay? The crows are having, uh, you know, actually pulling, yeah, it's a weird concept, but still, uh, she's being dragged forward. So Six of Swords for me is packing your bags and leaving. Eight of Cups, again, you you are just walking away from all the conflict, from all the co um, you know, um, you know, the people who is restricting you. You're leaving them behind. You're leaving the noise behind. You leaving the uh, you know toxicity behind. Because whatever whatever you're living, I feel like it's a lie. It it's like petty, you know. It's again five wands, five pentacles. You had so many people around you, okay? You had so much noise around you. You felt like you're living a cool life, but then at the end of the day, it was meaningless. 
I can hear the crows outside. Okay. That would mean you're still trying to, you know, make some noise. You're still trying to reach out to you. They don't want to um, let go of you. Yeah. You will hear from them, but there is something about you where I see you moving forward. I see you walking away. Okay. The thing about, um, you know, they give me um, something which is, which is, uh, which I think you won't understand, like most of you won't understand. Um, we have a river Ganga. And uh, it's said to be uh, the Holy Ganges. Uh, you dip into the water and remove your sins. Yeah, uh, it's it's dirty right now. Okay, I wouldn't even bother going in there. But yeah, mm, people go in there to wipe away their past sins. Okay, it's it's for the moksh. It's it's just um, purify your soul. And that is that is what came through that's that's huge all right so i feel like that is a way your reading is coming through with this awakening with this enlightenment uh sorry where is the card though okay with this enlightenment you feel like you have to clean your soul and that's what you're going to do okay i'm not asking you to take a flight and dip yourself in the Ganges. Yeah. I might warn you, it's it's dirty. It's dirty. Alright. Um because India. I wouldn't speak much. Yes! Six of Pentacles. Uh, it, it's like um this is a card of death and rebirth. You're leaving your past behind. And there is a sense of rebirth. There is a sense of transforming. I, I, I don't know how, how else to say this. I see you transforming as a person. Okay? You're stepping into a whole new world. You are turning into a new leaf. You are changing your life. You know, if you felt like this is how, you know, because Six of Pentacles is, it's all about, you know, you thinking you have to give something for you to receive something that whole because you know nothing else you you think people are uh, the, the way you can get company of somebody is only by giving only then would they want you whom have you been dealing with yeah and you're walking away from it which is a good thing all right some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. Since I pulled a couple of cards, I'm just going to leave that behind. Uh, there is a sense of uh, getting tired. Okay? Mm, you're tired with life. There is this exhaustion. When you're thinking about your life right now, you're exhausted. It's, it's almost like you have nothing to look forward to. And I still hear the crows, okay, which is weird. Non-stop. I haven't heard it since morning, but for some reason within your reading, I did speak about the crows. So it, it's like your past, the people from the past is not willing to um, let go of you. You're trying to detach yourself, but they are going to make it difficult. They are going to still come through. They are still going to... Um, you know, leech from you, okay? Stick themselves on you. Previously, you might have thought it's okay, yes, these people want me in their life, but now, for some reason, you know, you know, uh, at the end of the day, they are not yours, okay? You still feel lonely. All right, moving on. I feel bad for you. Ah, uh, Libras. What else do you need to tell them? 
and enthusiasm. Tower. Something is going to change your life. Okay? Ooh. Yes. Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, something is going to enter your life or someone is going to enter your life because I showed you the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody else is going to enter your life who is going to show you how things should be. Okay? Okay? Because this, this um, center of the reading is a Five of Pentacles, pathetic. All right? But that is going to change. And with this, if you are lonely, somebody is going to come in. All right? And that is going to shake up your world. You will know who it is. Okay? Is once. And I hear the word worthy. Okay? Somebody who's worthy. Okay? This is going to change you. It, it's going to shift your life. For the better. For the best. Wow. Okay? And I strongly feel this is... A love situation, all right. For the, uh, with, it could be, it could be because if you're financially struggling, if you don't have a job, blah blah blah, that's that's going to change. But from the looks of it, it's it's I'm kind of a transformation within your life, and I, I get this lonely energy from you, and uh, that is going to change. Okay. It's 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 almost like this this um this awakening which you're going to have in regards to somebody. It's it's just going to rock, rock your world. You know, it's going to hit you like a lightning bolt. Like, wow. This is what I have been missing from my life. That kind of a realization. Hmm? Hmm. And I, I, I see butterflies in there. Alright, uh, if you can see it. It's almost like uh, the word when I saw it was again liberation, which I already spoke about in the judgment, in the judgment card. Yeah, was it for this reading? All right, uh, so you feel liberated, okay, when this happens. Oh, uh, when this happens, and there is happiness going to come through. All right. Whew. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces person. Can we have the last card, please, Libras? Your last card is the Four of Wands. Did I speak about happiness? You want to celebrate. If you look at this card up close, these people are celebrating. Yes. <laughs> because you're walking away from the past. I'm telling you, some of you, if this reading resonates, if this reading makes sense, you will know. You will know you need to walk away from the past life. There is no two ways about it. Because all, you, all it gave you was this. And this sudden uh, new entry in your life is going to bring you so much joy. And you realize it, that's the best part. You realize what your life could be. Okay? When this person enters your life. Alright? What is it? Yes, half it. Some of you might be getting married as well. Half it along with the four of wands, celebrations. Alright? Uh, it, it's like four of wands is like a four legs of a table. All right, stability, security. It, it, it's like building a foundation. Half of it is all about structures, foundations. All right, so that's why I said marriage. Um, some of you are deciding, this is my person. You know, that sudden realization with the stubborn energy. Ooh, big changes, big shifts, big, uh, uh, massive transformations. All right, within your life. If this makes sense, let me know. All right, I, I am excited for you, but I'm, I'm so, I, I don't want to say I'm disappointed with your past life because you you were under some kind of an illusion. Uh, it's okay. But whatever is going to happen in your life, it's it's exciting. For the, some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy, a Taurus energy, or probably a Gemini energy. Yes. 
as to your wants. This, this is something which you have been manifesting. Alright? Beautiful. It's something which you wanted. Okay? Definite walking away from the past. Past life. Alright? And now you are um, making plans for the future. And that's about it. Alright? And I, I, I see you, um, some of you getting married. Okay? With this four of wands and the six of wands. Um, and I see you manifesting this. Somehow, you want this to happen in your, in your life. Okay. There's something else as well. But I can't, can't remember. And I can't remember. You already manifested the journey you're going to take with someone. Yeah. That's about it. I wish you the very best leave-ins out there. This is Marishi and my channel Shaloka. Until next time. Bye-bye.